So <clears throat> this is not a watching the world burn video. I just wanted to chime in. Uh, what a glorious day, huh? Good God. I, this was my exercise day. I went out to um, the Aqua River here in uh, Florida and, and exercised for about three hours. And then I come home. And I'm just going to do laundry and other stuff, not intending to make a video. <laughs> but, but world events just keep moving on. McCarthy is done. He's voted out as Speaker of the House. Do you realize what a monumental, huge event this is? It's the greatest thing ever. That neocon idiot, I mean, he was trying to pretend that he was going to be a MAGA, uh, semi-MAGA type of person. And uh, Matt Gates, God worship him, uh, he came out and called him on his bull crap. And, uh, and so, and then you get... You get like the likes of Sean Hannity, Newt Gingrich, and Mark Levin. Uh, you know, they're all doing uh, all their hate speech on uh, Matt Gates for, for, for tossing uh, McCarthy out. I mean, it hasn't happened in 100 years in here in the United States. So things, things are changing. I mean, it gives, us, it gives me hope. It gives me great hope to see that neocon out of the speakership. Now, will they get voted back in? It's a possibility. And But now, trending on Twitter, is Donald Trump for Speaker. Now, do you understand that it, the Speaker of the House, it doesn't have to be a member of Congress. And that's it, these, this is the Constitution, which, of course, is kind of like uh, dirt on paper at this point. But still, you know, we have to kind of, they have to kind of pretend that they're going to, do the Constitution. And so I, I, I was all over Twitter, nominate Donald Trump. If you're on, if you watch this video, nominate Donald Trump for Speaker of the House. You want to overturn the neocons. You want to end the Ukraine war. You want to take back the uh, border, the southern border of the United States. Nominate Donald Trump for Speaker of the House. That's what we need to do. And uh, I just think it was the most glorious moment I've seen. Uh, holy moly. I just, I just had to make a two-second video on it. Peace out. Stay free. And understand that, you know, everything's not lost. Uh, wow, I, by the way, I just getting on to some other topics. I mean, I hope that you're not invested in your 401k, your IRA. I always try to give some advice on these videos. Uh, I mean, you saw the stock market crash today. That is just the beginning. Uh, the interest rate on real estate went up to, what, 8.5% or something like that? I mean, holy moly, who can buy a house? My, what I, my understanding is the average monthly payment on a house is like $3,000. Who the hell can afford that? So you have to understand the, ho the housing market is going to crash. The stock market is going to crash. If you don't own some gold and silver or some hard assets uh, somewhere, you're going to pay the price. Uh, don't have all your investments in, in, in those types of things. And, and be preparing yourself. Grow a garden, grow a garden, grow a garden. I can't emphasize that enough. In fact, tomorrow I'm going to be in my garden in the back, which is very small. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of tied into my situation here in Florida. Uh, luckily, I'm in Florida. Your interest rates are going to go up. Uh, everything's going to go up. Inflation is here. The, the Federal Reserve is not going to be able to... The 10... 10 what was it? The, 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 the interest rate on 10-year treasuries? Oh, my God. They just exploded. Would you buy a 10-year treasury? I mean, I understand it's paying really high interest. I wouldn't touch it with a 10. I, I want to tell you what. As Japan sells off the treasuries, things are not looking good, people. Things are not looking good. But the main thing, the main message I wanted to get out is that we have an opportunity, and it's probably not going to happen. And, well, and, and I just wanted to do a little bit of political analysis on this. Okay, so the Democrats, and, and they, I tell you what, the Democrats are like the Borg. <laughs> if you ever watch Star Trek, they, they're this hive mind that just operates in unison. At least in the Republicans, you've got some Republicans that kind of stand out against the rhinos, the Repu Repu Republicans in name only. 
Uh, but the Democrats, they always move in unison. And it was kind of funny to watch today as all the Democrats, see, they always vote one block. You know, nobody dissents. I don't know how they do that. Uh, maybe they've got dirt on every single other Democrat. And they say, if you vote out, we're going to we're going to torture you. I don't know. It's it's a it's it's a hive mind. And so they voted. That's how that this whole thing took place. But I wonder if they've slit their own throats at this point, you know, because now if if you if you do get a nomination of a of Donald Trump or you know a, maybe a Carrie Lake or something like that, that could go against them to a certain degree. And maybe some of them want that. You know, I would like to hope that there might be some non-evil Democrat that exists in the U.S. Congress. But anyway, I guess uh, that's it. I, I don't want to talk on forever. But I just thought it was it was huge. It was huge. Peace out. Stay free. Grow garden. <laughs>